So let's see about the private cloud. See the private cloud is owned and operated by the organization and they are going to use that resource from the cloud. So they create a cloud environment in their own data centers and provide self-service access to compute resource to users within their organization. So this is like uh, a private cloud is a fully restricted uh, networking where their organization people only can use and they are not ready to give it to public. The organization remains the owner and they are responsible for the ownership and they are entire responsible for the operation, maintenance and purchasing of the uh, any resource that required of the service they provide. Like if you see any private organization or a, if you are working in an IT company, there are certain applications where they, get, they don't give access to public and you can't access those applications in a public internet or anywhere. So such type of applications are for private cloud. So these are like they need high security and no other want to take the data or use their data. So that type of cloud model is a private cloud. Let's see the characteristics of the private cloud. The ownership here, the owner and the user of the cloud services are the same because your organization is going to maintain uh, this uh, uh, private cloud. And when it comes to the connectivity, you can connect to private cloud typically over a, a private network, which is highly secured and this cannot be accessed by the public. And when it comes to the cost and efficiency, the cost of maintaining private clouds is very high, like because uh, uh, the cost you are going to buy a physical infrastructure and you are going to maintain your data center everything that you are going to do that's why the cost of uh, this private cloud is always high and when it comes to the skills and you need a technical knowledge how to set up the things and how to manage the things and how to maintain the private cloud and how to deploy the uh, applications or how you are going to network your private cloud so that and all is a technical knowledge that type of skills are required for the private cloud and you can see in private cloud organization owner is responsible for maintaining that hardware and he need to make sure that it is up to date and when it comes to the use case scenarios private cloud would be when an organization has a data that cannot be exposed to the public cloud perhaps for a legal, uh, legal reasons or a compliancy for example if you have a medical data in your organization you can't expose that medical data to the public you need to make sure that internally it is available to you or your organization only you it should not be accessible to any of the public or that data should not uh, leak uh, to the outside uh, any of the uh, person the, if you leak that data it may leads to the legal reasons you are responsible for so if you have a personal data in the government websites and if government if any of the data get leaked it may be a, a legal issue or any complaints issue may come so that's why these type of applications will be suitable for a private cloud where you can't expose your data or application to outworld uh, that's why the private cloud is very highly secured and it is also very costly and there are certain government policies requests for a specific data to keep in country or a privately so if you see you uh, europe countries they won't allow their users or a citizens data to expose outside the world so they will keep internally within their uh, geographical location so they won't allow uh, that you data to allow others to access so that type of applications are suitable for the private cloud so let us see the advantages and disadvantages of the private cloud the private cloud you have a complete control over the it infrastructure and you are going to uh, if you want to have any patch ups or if you want to upgrade anything you can do on it your own you need not to depend on any third party and it is very highly secure compared to any other cloud deployment model and compliancy you can able to manage the compliancy within that geographical location or if you see in public cloud you uh, there is no compliancy there so since it is available to all the people there there might be a chance that you didn't have a maintain a compliancy and if you have any specific scenarios like uh, uh, you want a certain legacy application to be in pri uh, public i mean private cloud you can maintain such type of applications in a private cloud because those are legacy system and you can't change them uh, uh, for various reasons and when it comes to the disadvantages the upfront uh, cost like the capital expenditure will be always high and agility so because it's a private cloud you may not deploy whatever resource uh, you want immediately it will take certain time 
and the maintenance cost is too high because you are going to maintain your own data center that's why and the skills the skills required for private cloud is too high because that guy uh, or an organization should have a technical person where they can handle and able to maintain the uh, private cloud so i hope it helps you thank you